Okay, now that we've got these Lee algebras and Jordan algebras in hand, we would like to go after the last two items in our wish list. Namely, do the standard model representations fit into the octonionic purse blocks? And can we find a simple action to make this happen? Well, in an attempt to make to keep things simple, a first guess at an action might look something like this. Here, the B and the V are defined at the complexified level, and then we add a particular conjugate in order to have an output that lives in the real CL08 slice. Now, this is an interesting avenue to explore because it appears to be the simplest possible action, but it does not give us the particle content that we want at known energy levels. That is, it will give us the same structure that we see in supersymmetric theories, where there is an equal number of bosons to fermions. The standard model, however, as you may have noticed, has more fermionic degrees of freedom than bosonic degrees of freedom. So when we use this action, we don't get three linearly independent uh, generations, but rather two, and we end up instead with extra leptoquarks and Higgs bosons. So this action might be troubled from an experimental perspective, um, at least at energies that we are interested in. Now, one might argue that this action is troubled as well from a perspective of aesthetics. That is, the octonions give us a second pair of projection operators for free. And because of the way that helicity is defined, uh, this action is only using one of those pairs, little s and little s star, um, that is in order to separate your fermions and bosons. Now, said another way, we can see that there is a more refined Z2 grading here that our action can use so as to separate fermions and bosons. In this case, we wind up with more fermions than bosons, and perhaps, if we're lucky, even three linearly independent generations. Well, here is one such action on these off diagonals that will define fermions and bosons with respect to this more refined Z2 grading. Here are the projection operators, P plus and P minus, take into account this time the octonionic imaginary unit multiplying from both the left and the right. Now, in order to satisfy the fact that this is a real slice, we perform our action with a set of carefully chosen representative objects in the complex CL8. Then we add in the conjugate at the end, which ensures that we are living in the real CL08 slice. <laughs> 